Hello YouTube, thanks for watching. Today I'm gonna show you how to do this this effect. This little baby inside crystal crystal egg. So let's begin. Um, I'm gonna delete all, all my layers and we're gonna open a new file. So go to file new and the width is gonna be 1200 and height 900 click OK now we're gonna click and drag this lock image into the trash can to unlock the layer we're gonna double click it and add a gradient overlay our color is going to be Forty twenty-five zero eight. Click OK. Click on the other on the right side and type A one seven three three seven. Click OK. Blending mode is going to be on normal opacity one hundred and click on this reverse option. A style is going to be radio and angle is going to be 45 click OK now we're gonna apply this image into a new layer add a new layer go to image apply image click OK we're gonna name this layer background Now we're gonna add some some noise to this layer. Go to filter, noise, add, add noise, and 4% is good. Click OK. Now we're gonna duplicate the background layer. Press Ctrl J, and we're gonna transform this layer by pressing Ctrl T. Graph the middle top part and put it somewhere in the middle of the image. Right click and choose perspective. Now we're gonna open the lower part on one end. So click and open the the background copy click OK now we're gonna add some some blur to that layer so go to filter blur Gaussian blur and 5 pixels click OK now we're gonna bring one image it's called the bokeh, bokeh image We're gonna make this this image into first of all let's name it bokeh bokeh I think that's how you say it so now we're gonna convert this image into black and white go to image adjustment black and white and on preset choose maximum black click OK we're gonna add some levels to this pocket layer so press control control l and on the first we're gonna put 110 the middle one 0 0.80 and we're gonna click ok so i want these white dots in the middle of my image so i'm gonna resize the pocket image until I think it looks better so I'm gonna press ctrl T to resize it and make this pocket image a little bigger and I think that, that looks better 
click the OK button. I'm gonna put the blending mode to overlay and opacity around 20. Now we're gonna bring the egg. Let's name it. I'm gonna name it crystal because egg for me is difficult to pronounce it so crystal it's easier for me so I'm gonna press ctrl T to resize the crystal image I'm gonna press this option right here to keep the aspect ratio around that size and click OK I'm gonna select this make a selection on this crystal image so I'm gonna press and hold control and I'm gonna click on this crystal image layer to make it a selection now I'm gonna add a new layer and put it below crystal I'm gonna name this layer glow and I'm gonna fill the selection with white now I'm gonna deselect the selection by pressing Ctrl D I'm gonna put this fill option into zero I'm gonna double click glow layer and I'm gonna choose outer glow blending mode to linear dodge opacity around 20 and the color is going to be FFCE 7D press OK size 115 and OK now I'm gonna bring first I'm gonna select the crystal layer and now I'm gonna bring our baby image so now we have our baby into our image I'm gonna press Control T to transform and resize this baby. I'm gonna click this option to keep the aspect ratio and click OK. I'm gonna double. Uh, let's let's name this layer baby. Double click the baby layer click on gradient overlay to the color is going to be F F E D C 6 blend mode going to be multiply opacity 50 style radio angle 60 60 degrees and click OK now we're gonna bring our global global image click OK rasterize it uh, right click and rest rasterize layer and we're gonna make the egg shape press ctrl T to transform and we're gonna make it the same shape as the egg right click and warp there you go click OK we're gonna put the blend mode to screen we're gonna add a layer mask to erase these parts right here to make the baby more visible grab the brush tool opacity around 50 
and just delete these areas we want the baby to to be visible now we're gonna duplicate this layer I'm gonna name it global to make it easy for me to pronounce it so I'm gonna duplicate the global layer and I'm gonna put the blending mode to soft light I'm gonna duplicate it one more time and put this fill option to zero I'm gonna double click it I'm gonna choose bevel and emboss inner level smooth 100% size 0 soften 0 highlight mode linear linear dodge opacity 50 shadow mode overlay and opacity 50 click ok now let's go back to the global layer let's duplicate it one more time control J and we're gonna put this this layer on the back of the egg so press ctrl T right click and flip horizontal and put it just like the way the egg is put the blending mode to multiply where's multiply? multiply opacity 10 and I'm gonna erase the parts I don't like make sure that you have selected the layer mask and add the layer now we're gonna duplicate all these layers so click the top layer press and hold shift and click the, the glow layer to select all these layers press ctrl j to duplicate them press ctrl e to merge them and we're gonna duplicate this layer the one that we just merged, merged together so ctrl j and we're gonna flip it uh, vertical vertically so press ctrl t to transform right click and flip vertical and this one's gonna be our reflection on the bottom of the egg so just move it right here the opacity is going to be 65 and we're gonna add a layer mask choose the gradient tool linear gradient and we're gonna make our selection from bottom to to top right here something like that now we're gonna go to the one we copy first this global copy 7 and this is gonna be our reflection on the right right here so press ctrl T to transform right click and distort now grab this end and put it somewhere right there grab the other end and and 
just make it look like it's reflecting on the right side I think that looks that looks good click OK we're gonna move this into below the glow layer Press Ctrl T to transform the, the layer again because I don't like the way it looks. Distort. And let's, let's make it look better. There you go. I think it looks better now. So click the. We're gonna put blur into that layer. So go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and 3%. Add a layer mask, grab the gradient tool, and erase from right to left. Let's lower the opacity around. 85 85 or 90 now add a new layer choose the brush tool soft brush opacity 100 choose the white color and brush once now click ctrl T and let's move this Mirror to the right. This is gonna be like a reflection light. Click OK. Put blending mode to soft light. Now go to the top layer, add a new layer, choose the gradient tool, choose the radio gradient, black to black to white, I mean black to transparent, okay, choose the black color and click this reverse option right here and from the middle make it align to one of the corners blending mode to multiply and opacity around 20 and there you go I hope you like it, leave a comment, if you have any question ask, thanks for watching and see you next video.